YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for the latest episode of Boom Boonger. I think it's episode 27. I can't remember off the top of my head. Uh, this was the debut episode for the Boom 119 Mecha, like, robot formation. We debuted the form, we debuted the Leo Rescue, you know, the lion and the rescue truck, and now it's the Megazord form. And now this concludes this trilogy of this debut of the power-up that took place in the middle of filler episodes. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I wasn't a fan of this episode, definitely not my cup of tea. Um, you know, I do kind of just wish overall that this storyline with 119 had been like a, a two-parter or a three-parter that was really character-focused and had some interesting stuff, but instead it feels like it was shoehorned into like some filler episodes. Like, for people that like this type of filler, it could probably be a fun one-off, but it just wasn't my jam. But to get into some positives, you know, even though overall these antics aren't my thing, what's up with these antics? There was some fun, little funny bits and charming parts, and I liked seeing the inspector out there with them as part of the team. She had some funny parts, just like when she first entered looking really apprehensive, and it kind of just almost showcased all the different shades of her character, and it was just kind of nice to see her out in the field. Ah, thank you. Like, I'd love to see her get more involved in future, I don't know if, like, cases is the right word. Like, she's investigated with Taya before, but maybe on a future delivery or case or whatever, it'd be nice to see her, like, out there more with, working with them. And it's unfortunate the first real time that I can think of is this stupid stuff, but it was nice to see her there and it led to some funny, fun parts. Yet again, I really like some of the scenes where you had uh, Leo Rescue in like its truck form rescuing people, kind of very light speed rescue coded, which I liked. As always, the mecha fight was really fun, very much so feeling like Zenkaiger again in terms of the monster fight both on the ground and in the sky when they're in the Megazord. Like, it was very rule based based on the specific theme, so it made it a little more interesting to watch. And in general, I really do like the 119 mecha formation. It was one that I liked okay when I first saw it. I think our first look was the toy, but like now seeing it more in live action via the scans and now actually see it in motion. I actually really like it quite a lot. I think it's a very strong mecha and I got a really strong uh, good debut fight with a lot of good visuals. As far as to the mix to negative, again, this type of episode just isn't my thing. It would definitely lean more into the silly stuff. It just, it is kind of funny timing. I mean, Boom Boonger in general has been a much lighter episodic like series, but it is just funny in general because over the last month, We've gotten a lot of those negative Sentai purist comments that are championing the death of PR and be like, thank God Power Rangers dead, now you can watch the serious mature Sentai. Meanwhile, Sentai, I just find that to be funny, but it just overall wasn't my cup of tea. I'm not into this type of stuff. Boom Boonger definitely has been doing some silly stuff, but I think that for the most part, they've kept it pretty balanced, and this one was more full tilt silly. Not to mention it focused on Joe, who's my least favorite character. Uh, just overall, outside of the Boon 119 stuff, I just wasn't a fan of anything going on here. It was rather annoying to me, to be honest. And, you know, in general, this type of episode wouldn't always be my cup of tea, but like I said at the beginning, I'm very disappointed that this wasn't overall just a more impactful arc for the power-up. I think it's kind of nice to have that, and last year we did with King Oger. And, you know, it's fine that the series is more episodic and light, more slice of light-esque, but it's okay to also have moments where you actually have multi-parters for debuts and stuff. Like, that kind of breaks it up a little bit. It kind of lets you appreciate more Slice of Life episodes, too, just because, you know, I don't know, it's a change of pace, but... Also, just this is more of a negative observation overall for the series that I'm worried about, is it feels like uh, Sakito has become, like, a background character since he... I mean, he's had focus, not focus, but he's, like, been there with the team, but it feels kind of similar to other past six Rangers. You know, I think, thankfully, with Jeremy, we ultimately fixed that because he became prominent later. But there's been so many Six Rangers that after they get their debut, they just are kind of there. And I feel that they had so much wasted potential with him. Like, in particular, his storyline of being this kind of rival character could have been so interesting, and they swept it under the rug so fast just to have him getting caught up in these stupid Super Sentai antics. It's, it sucks that we brought up such an interesting character with an interesting dynamic that could have sh shook up the dynamics of the cast, only to have him be kind of just rolled into everything else. But that's about it for this one, guys. Pretty short review. Again, this episode really wasn't for me outside of seeing the rest of the Mecha debut. But let me know what you thought of the episode in the comments, as always. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell to get notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.